this cause a specific and very rare autoimmune disease known as antiphospholipid antibody syndrome also known as Hughes syndrome so uh, this type of condition causes uh, high levels of blood clotting uh, in your system so how it works is that these antibodies antiphospholipid antibodies will bind to the phospholipids of your cell layers so all cells carry phospholipids in their cell membrane so it is a very dangerous form of autoimmune disease so the primary complication for this uh, condition is uh, high levels of blood clotting so they many scientists and many hospital institutions believe that this is also the primary cause of why recurrent miscarriage happens and this video serves to challenge this notion why we don't believe that APS is uh, responsible for recurrent miscarriage it can be responsible for other uh, autoimmune diseases or conditions for example deep brain thrombosis or blood clots in the uh, several parts of the body causing organ damage yes it may very well be responsible for that but we believe that it is not responsible for a recurrent miscarriage because first of all antiphospholipid antibodies is, is not a specific diagnosis for recurrent miscarriage it is also uh, known that several other conditions show a high level of antiphospholipid antibodies uh, uh, we cannot say that antiphospholipid antibodies are the main cause for recurrent miscarriage other conditions for example migraines and uh, inflammatory uh, responses even COVID-19 uh, patients with this type of condi conditions show a higher level of antiphospholipid antibodies so because it's not specific to recurrent miscarriage we cannot say that it is uh, why it is exactly triggering the recurrent miscarriage to happen secondly they believe that uh, women being in a high coagulative state which means their bloods are uh, slightly more thicker there are more clotting that's happening they believe that this is actually uh, an indication of a recurrent miscarriage or a potential miscarriage that is about to happen but it is uh, this is in fact wrong because women uh, are will be in a hypercoagulative state during pregnancy this is a phenomenon known as a pregnancy induced hypercoagulative and this is a natural phenomenon it's also a defensive mechanism that is designed to help the mother heal faster in case of any potential trauma or injury to protect the pregnancy it also helps in uh, slowing down or preventing excessive bleeding during labor and also after labor so this is a very common misconception of patients when they are tested for APS they are also given these medications that will reduce the coagulative of the coagulative ability of the blood medications such as heparin and aspirin or warfarin all of these will reduce the clotting ability of the blood and this not only uh, puts the mother in a vulnerable state because it reverses her natural protective state it also might increase and sp speed up the uh, occurrence of a potential miscarriage the physical component discovered is known as a fibronectin layer it is a glycoprotein layer that serves as a immune barrier and, and filters out anything that is too large to enter uh, into the fetal cells so cells of the it protects the fetus from the immune cells of the mother so theories that suggest that human leukocyte antigens or antiphospholipid antibodies are the ones that are attacking the fetus well, this fibronectin layer, the presence of this fibronectin layer will prevent uh, this type of reaction to happen. So, those theories are no longer uh, acceptable. Secondly, uh, if a patient has a history of induced abortion or labor or also uh, intercourse during menses, there is a high chance of these uh, fetal cells entering into the mother's bloodstream. And because of this phenomenon, uh, the mother recognizes these. Uh, foreign fetal tissues in, in her bloodstream as foreign antigens so she will produce specific antibodies that is mentioned in this pattern known as anti-embryonic antibodies and these anti-embryonic antibodies are specific to the occurrence of recurrent miscarriage they are, they are so small because they are an anti-nuclear antibodies they will penetrate the fibronectin layer because they are smaller than usual and they will enter into the embryonic cells binding into the specific chromosomes that make the fibronectin layer so because of the absence of this fibronectin layer the maternal immune cells are able to uh, enter and expose themselves to the fetal cell causing a miscarriage so 
patients with this type of uh, antibodies are bound to uh, miscarriage over and over again if they do not receive treatment. This patent has data to support and also its diagnosis and treatment is accurate up to 95%. So if you'd like to find out more information about this patent, the link here will lead you to the patent. If you'd like to have a discussion, please leave a comment down below.